The mission at Easter Academy is simple, it's all will succeed. That's not some and can, it's all and will. Um, as professionals, we've been charged with a very special responsibility. It's the kind of responsibility that I think most people in their natural lives would yearn for, and that is to make a massive difference to the world around them, to make that world a better place. Our mission will be enduring, all will succeed, will remain. What will change is how we go about doing that. But on top of all of that, technology is converging to become so much more interactive and around the individual it's so much more personalized so what i see is the technology getting better and better and better enabling us to personalize further and further which will enable the social capital that's built up and the outcomes produced so that our young people succeed to go on and make a difference from generation to generation the key focus was around learning um, our motto is all will succeed so it's not all can succeed but actually all will succeed and to make sure that every student had 21st century resources so moving away from buying um, mounds of printed textbooks to actually creating our own textbooks. Imagine being in an environment where a student could take a textbook home that's completely personalised for them. They could sit with the parents, flick digital pages over, interact with video, look at content, listen to audio um, and be able to, to, to interact with that and modify that information and capture their own learning whilst that's happening. The senior leadership team at ESSA had a very, very clear vision for how ICT was going to transform the education um, in their academy and the life chances of their students. They value um, very much personalised learning, individual learning opportunities, um, students not being confined to the classroom, not being confined to the school and therefore the use of mobile devices and in the case of ESSA, Apple technology was absolutely critical to them. Well, each student's been given an iPod Touch, so all in all there's over a thousand iPods within the school. Every member of staff has got an iPad too, and there are some that are in cupboards for lessons, so there's uh, around 400 uh, plus iPads within the school. But the iPod's the most crucial one because it's the handheld device which is enabling our future. ESSA has ripped the rule book up. ESSA has created a new theme of the use of technology in schools. There's a trend within IT at the moment of, uh, of consumerisation, a lot more use of devices you're more likely to see in an Apple store or in a shopping mall or at home. ESSA have pretty much taken that technology and deployed it on an enterprise scale across the school. One of the key aspects around the hardware was to, to make sure that we had um, a wireless system that was robust, that covered the academy completely, both internal and external areas. We've got um, the student mobile devices that run off there. We've got the portable devices, the iPads that are used in classrooms and by teachers that, are, that work off there as well. So this means that actually the, the wireless network has to be robust. It has to allow access, it has to be seamless um, and that's why we went and installed a, a Maru wireless system. Because the whole school is wireless it enables us to be able to learn anywhere um, so we don't have to be in a classroom or in a, a library. We could, we could be doing work in, the, in our restaurant whilst we were eating our dinner at lunchtime. It is really reliable. I, for example in my lesson today because everything was already built in into this one iPad I could project it and have more time for the students rather than worrying about books, paper and everything else. They had some work to do them in their books, mainly is on the iPods, make the notes, they carry it around with them, an excessive amount of information, easily accessible. Well when you're doing your work and you're using apps on your iPod, and when your teachers might like your work and they want to show it to the whole class and normally in a book you can't, everyone can't see it, and your work you can like send it to the TVs and the Apple TVs in your classroom, everyone can see it on the big screen. So typical activities we would do in PE would be to analyse performance where you could find the perfect model of on, let's say for example a YouTube clip that could be displayed and played to the entire group and then each individual student could take turns to record their own performance and then we could marry up the two and the feedback was, was incredibly positive. One of the key things is we begin to see a huge amount of creativity both from two teachers and from students as well. Teachers in the fact uh, of how they're actually using technology and how they're um, capitalising 
on learning. Students have got iPods, we've got iPads, we've got we've got the uh, MacBook Pros, we've got the MacBook Airs. Um, we do. It's totally and utterly different. It's more exciting. Um, it's entertaining. It's more exciting for us as well. It's a whole new experience. And it helps us in our lessons to you know take notes when the teacher is giving a lecture to, to help you when you're doing your own work independently. And it helps you to like take things take matters to your, in on your own hands and go on the internet and find out words you don't know what they mean and then research things you don't understand and it, it makes everything easier for you because you've got like everything in your hands you don't need um, big books and you don't need to go to the library every, in, all the time. What's interesting about ESSA is the Maru wireless network through its virtual port capability and the seamless roaming is supporting all of their mobile voice requirements. We've also been able um, to capitalise on the wireless network because we've not had to install phones and telephony. Our telephony works over the wireless system. Every single member of staff has their own extension number. Parents can ring teachers at any time and the teachers can receive calls on their iPads um, and they can return calls whenever they want to as well. Now we've got the ability to email our teachers 24-7, it makes it a lot easier for us. So if we're stuck on homework or we're not sure if we need one-to-one -one tuition at what time, it's just we can just send an email and the staff, we can guarantee that staff will reply to us. The Maru system allows for this 21st century learning experience, both for students and for staff as well. And for that reason, I'm really grateful and extremely happy that we've you know, installed the Maru solution at ESA Academy. From our perspective, we wouldn't have considered using another technology other than Maru to deliver the requirements in ESSA Academy.